gorgeous weather around these parts today. You need some evidence? I've got it for you. Take a look at this weather bug camera. Se uh, sequence of shots from earlier today. What a beautiful puffy fair weather cumulus clouds there for a time and then back to a completely clear skies and that's where we are at this hour 70 degrees right now. Look at the morning low in Burgettstown. That got their attention down there in Washington County. Talk about throwing an extra blanket on the bed or bringing the dog in with you because this was <laughs> the first cool night of the season for many folks. 47 degrees. We'll do a little better than that tomorrow morning, but it'll still be slightly below normal average high. Low 60 will be below on both the high and low end tomorrow, but not by much. All right, right now temperatures all in the 70s with it looks like one exception two actually Johnstown and Friendsville, Maryland. Everybody else doing a little bit better with Morgantown, our per usual hot spot at 75 degrees. Pittsburgh International's number. What a beautiful shot of the city right there. Sorry we had to cover it with that graphic, but this is important information. 74 degrees with a partly cloudy sky, humidity at 40 percent, winds calm, pressures high, and the dew points low. Under Anytime it's under 50 degrees, it's a bonus, believe me. Here we are with a look at temperatures and the trend over the next 24 hours going from mid to upper 60s and low 70s. That's, of course, at 8 o'clock down into the upper 50s overnight, mid to upper 50s, and then back up into the mid to upper 70s for highs tomorrow. So it looks like a nice, fairly seasonable stretch, couple of degrees below normal on both the high and low end, but not enough to make any difference and no humidity. So very pleasant conditions right through the weekend. Unfortunately, that is not the case for our good friends down in South Texas, where from San Antonio to the coast, back up to Houston and over into New Orleans, they are dealing with some major rainfall that will total uh, amounts that are unbelievable in our context. We can't possibly imagine getting two to three feet of rain in, in, in even a month much less a 36 to 48 hour period. And that's what they'll be dealing with down there. So our thoughts and prayers are with the good people of South Texas. Here we are with a look at what's happening here. Quiet as can be. And that's the way it'll stay tomorrow too. So enjoy your gorgeous weekend. Partly cloudy, comfortable tonight. Good sleeping weather once again. Not as cool though as this morning with a low of 56 degrees. Our high tomorrow right up there into the mid to upper 70s with partly cloudy skies, low winds, low humidity. Perfect. Great stuff. But as we head into Monday, things do to turn around a little bit with late day showers, showers and storms possible Tuesday. Now we're talking remnants of Harvey that will continue to linger right into Wednesday before things dry out and cool down a little bit as we head into next weekend. But all in all, looks pretty good to me, Paul.